Well, after another hole-in-one on a par four, I figured it's time to break down Mr. Hole-in-One, Matt Scharf of Good Good. This swing and this angle is from the hole-in-one that has recently just been posted on the Good Good channel. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It is absolutely insane. If you're new here, I'm the Golf Doc. I post tips and drills as well as swing analysis and breakdowns. Be sure to hit that subscribe and drop a like on this video. It really helps me out. Let's get right into this Matt Scharf driver swing. So again, we're going to do two views. We'll do the down the line, which is this view, and then we'll do a face on, which will be the next view. So first things first, I always draw a plane line, which is the angle of the driver shaft through his midsection. And then I draw a circle around his head just to see what his head does throughout the swing. One of the first things we notice here is that it does look like he has aimed his feet a little bit to the right of where his driver and his body are aimed. You can see his shoulders are kind of aimed this way and his feet are going to be aimed to the right of that. And that could be because he's trying to encourage himself to swing more inside to out. That way he hits more of a draw. Or it could simply just be that this is not from directly behind him. It's just a little bit offset. So getting into the backswing, takeaway is very nice. You can see that front leg start to bend as he's pushing that driver head back towards the camera, getting his, a lot of length. He doesn't start to hinge his wrist until about right here, and he hinges that right wrist. Now, one thing Matt is very known for is his shorter backswing. He gets to the top here, and that's about as far back as he goes right there. Uh, you can obviously see other guys that will go all the way to parallel or past parallel. Matt, very laid off at the top. You can see here his, his left arm is is very straight, but his his wrist is a little bit, it does have a little bit of a bow to it. And then he has that right wrist extremely bent, which is going to, again, lay off that club. And that's why the club is so far back behind him back here. Now in this position, he does straighten this back leg quite a bit. And then he obviously would bend that front leg, taking the weight off, shifted his weight nicely back into that back leg. And then as we get into the downswing, you can see his first move is to kick that left knee, that front knee towards the target and start to open up those hips. Drops that right elbow right into the hip area. And then you can see his head starts to drop just a little bit and he does pull away a little. You can see just a little bit of a pull away, but that's okay. Hips open up nicely, pushing off that right foot. And as we get to the impact zone, you can see his head is moved down and away from the ball just a little bit. Now, as we go back a little bit, you can see he comes right down on under, under his plane line, which if you're trying to hit a draw, that's what you want to do. Beautiful. And his follow through, a little bit high and left, which is fine. You can see he's definitely flipping over that right wrist, trying to draw and close that club face. And then very balanced follow through. Moving on to the face-on view. This is a little bit of an older video. I uh, had a little trouble finding a face-on view of Matt. Um, this is from Good Good Labs back in the day with uh, Mr. Horvat. So a couple things to notice here. Good ball position right off that front heel. A little bit back of that front heel, but that's okay. Very nice V here with his arms. Now in this video, I'm not sure if this has changed at all, but in this video, you can see he does have a very strong left hand or gloved hand grip. You can see the top of his hand here and it's it's definitely turned over quite a bit where he's gonna help him close that club face through impact. So again, I'll draw a circle around his head here and then I'm gonna draw some lines to see if he has any kind of sway throughout his swing. Again here, you can kind of tell that he's got that right foot a little bit back comparably to his left foot. Again, I, I think that's because he wants to swing a little more inside to out. So let's get into this. So as he takes it away, very low to the ground, does not really sway backwards at all, maybe just a little bit. Pivots right around that back leg. Again, with the short follow through, it's about as, as far back as he goes. Very straight left arm. That looks good. 
You can see that this front leg is bent quite a bit. He's taking the, the weight off of that and he is shifting that weight backwards into this back hip and back leg. So continuing on, you can see his first move is to kind of bump that hip towards the target before the club even gets to the top of the backswing. And then as he bumps that hip, you can see he's, he's shifting that weight, obviously back onto that front leg. A lot of lag. You can see the, the bend in that shaft here. Head again, drop down just a little bit. First thing is that thigh and knee breaking through that plane there that I drew on his left leg. As he gets through the impact zone, his head again drops just a little bit and moves backwards just a little bit. He is pushing up and off that back right leg. You can see his hands flip over. You can see his right arm over his left arm as he gets through the impact zone. Definitely trying to turn the ball over. And then again, very balanced on the follow through. They don't call him Mr. Hole-in-One for nothing. He is two hole-in-ones on par fours, which is incredible. And he does have at least one that I know of on a par three. So dude is incredible, incredibly great guy as well. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe. It really helps me out. Be sure to drop a like on the video and check out a few of my other videos. I'm not just breaking down swings. I'm actually decent at golf. I am a scratch golfer and I do have some course vlogs that you may be interested in.